Yeah. yeah. Question, ladies, on the panel. What's the last time you cooked for your significant other? And this is da- uh, bow down to Fauci. Uh, we could start here and then work our way. When's the last time you cooked for your significant other? I cooked over the weekend. I believe it was on Saturday. What'd Saturday. you cook? I made mashed potatoes with uh, baked chicken and uh, roasted zucchini. Okay. We okay. eat healthy around her. That's good. Okay. <laughs> Uh, when's the last time you cooked for a significant no, listen, single? Listen, no, I, might, single. I might not know me the states, but I'm a, I'm a chef, so I cook breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts, including snacks. That's that's great that you're capable when's of doing it, but I'm asking did. when's the last time you actually did it. <laughs> when I actually did it? Yeah. It's been years. I have a daughter, so every day, all the time. No, 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 no. Huh? Your, like, boyfriend, My boyfriend? My husband? Yeah. When was yeah. the last time a I cooked for other. Yeah. last time? Uh, when I was in a relationship. How long was that? It's been years, huh? It's okay. This is, it's been years, you know. God damn. It's a fine. week ago. <laughs> I just broke up with my ex. Oh, okay. How about a week ago? A week cool. ago. The baby daddy or somebody else? No. What? Wait, what'd you make? Huh? What'd you make? <clears throat> Last time I, I cooked mm-hmm. uh, chi- uh, Alfredo pasta. Chicken Alfredo pasta. Okay. And that was mm-hmm. a week ago, you said? Mm-hmm. About a week ago. A week okay. ago. Cool. Uh, what about you? Um, well, when I was with the, the Greek dude, guy, yeah, the freak, mm-hmm. Greek guy. the Greek, mm-hmm. not the freak. Oh, uh, this was Greek like freak. how long um, was that? That the, uh, when I broke up with him, it was in January. Damn. So in December, Damn. he kind of got sick, and then he got me sick. So when he was sick, I made him some soup and a bunch of other shit. But that was yeah, like nine months it. ago. You still mad at this house? Yeah, this guy. <laughs> God damn, bro, wow. that nigga be pissing me off, fool. Wait, still. Dog. They still talk, yeah. I literally told this nigga, I hope he gets hit by a fucking bus. That's how bad he was. When's the last time y'all spoke? Um, Yesterday. <laughs> no, um, it's been months, actually. I tried to stay away from that shit. You try? She's I still, try. She's still in love with him. I mean, low key. It seems like, how long? We said a few months. Like, when's the last time, like, specifically? Do you um, remember? So we broke up in uh, I, January? I, I, yeah, January, but yeah. the last time I truly saw him was in March. But isn't that like five months ago? How are you still kind of wrapped up on him, man? Because she's, she's still in love with him. She's still because in love with he him. was the first guy she that loved actually him. fell shit for. Yeah, yeah, he was the first guy that actually told me widowed. what yeah. it was. And I was a fucking simp, dude. Aww. It's the first time. Did you, did you, um, did you like Twitch. pay to maintain him or did you pay for the dates or how'd you do? Like what? Well, how's the dynamic? I, mean, I was the nigga in the shit, clearly. <laughs> okay. Okay. So <laughs> you paid for the dates and you planned everything? Um pretty fucking much okay he was i mean like he wasn't there but he was there like i guess like we were from like raised from different cultures so it was kind of a little hard but still like why the fuck so you paid most of the bills (laughs) yes so you was playing mama stupid (laughs) pretty fucking much yeah okay so Uh, did you wear the pants in a relationship yeah yep Okay. Yeah, we're interesting. Yeah, we know, bro. Huh? Yeah. So just, just like yeah, a man. I know. I he know. was, like he, was he was very feminine, and that's what I liked about him. But I guess like, like he just I guess me just wearing the pants is probably what scared him away, and he never wanted to admit to that. But <laughs> fuck it, I don't give a fuck. But he's that not gonna did. wear them. Okay. He didn't wear them. He didn't wait, fuck he wear them. Feminine, Somebody like, had to wear them. So like, last time shit. you Asper. cooked was in January. First significant other was January, and you cooked soup for them when they were sick. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Um, my last relationship, that was four months ago. Okay. I was cooking. What'd you cook from? Um, I made like salmon, veggies, salad, okay. healthy stuff. You know, Why, healthy. Why'd y'all break up? <sighs> oh, that hits. It was a... <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that hits? <laughs> that hits. Oh. Wait, he, he hit you? <sighs> no. 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 Did, he probably, did he break up with you? No. You broke up with him? I with him, yeah. Why? Um, it was very uh toxic relationship okay, like can you define what the toxicity there was a lot was? of mental health going on on his side that was uh it was it wasn't good can you give me like an example was he very <laughs> like did he talk a lot of shit to you was he no weird? like what it was, was it? deeper than he was weird let's just How keep so? it at that but you chose him though yeah i chose him <laughs> by mistake and not knowing <laughs> who he really was the, it's the a full me, picture or maybe yeah, that yeah. Was, it happens it took me a minute to get to know him how long were y'all together? <clears throat> Only six months. It wasn't Did you guys long. like cohabitate or something or no? Like live together? Yeah. Uh, no, we didn't live together. Okay. So he just wasn't. I just learned stable? a lot about him throughout the relationship towards the end of it. Okay. What was like the main deal breaker? If you can give us, cause you're speaking in broad terms. Like what was it that made you say I'm done? 
Um, the lies and manipulation. So he was a narcissist. Yes. What would he lie about specifically? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> like his habits, his issues, so, personal things. I don't want to call it out right now, but I mean, nobody nope. knows who nobody he knows is. Who he is. Yeah, so, I mean, you could say like you could say he would. He, you know. he had an addiction problem. Okay. Like so, bad. To drugs. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not. All right. I mean, understand yeah. that is bad. Understand that's bad because that could. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. leads yeah. to death, honestly. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Damn. I cooked yesterday. <laughs> for a significant for, other? I, for for everybody came over my house. Oh, but when was the last time you cooked for a significant other? Um July fourth. Fourth of July. <laughs> okay. Was that like uh your boyfriend or something? Um, it was a significant other. Got it. Okay. What'd you cook for him? We have barbecue. I made ribs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I thought you'd made subs. What about you? <laughs> what about you? Um, well, I come from a long line of women who are really good cooks, but okay. they don't cook for just anybody, so neither do I. Um, <laughs> Dang. No, that's good. Damn. Straight up. That's Yo. That's how, sh- that's how it should be. So I'd say okay. maybe like a year ago. A year ago. Okay. What'd you cook, if you can recall? I made a huge pot of like lasagna that we binged off of for like two days. Nice. Why did the relationship end? <laughs> Why did it end? Yeah. Anger you broke issues. up with him? We drifted. We'll, we'll put it that way. Well, one party typically ends a relationship. Who nobody said anything. Like, nobody said it's over. So y'all just both ghosted each other? <laughs> I mean, when your personalities clash, that's kind of what happens. My nigga said that lasagna isn't enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> oh my, okay. That shit tastes like ass. <laughs> Yo. <Sorry>. Okay, <laughs> no, what about you? Um, the last time I cooked for a significant other yeah. was about July. Um, this year? Yes. Okay. Um, I was made, it also BBQ? It was not. Um, <laughs> it sounds good. That sounds delicious. Um, I made filet, mashed potatoes, broccolini, Ooh. and then like an arugula salad with uh, like Parmesan and Healthy. tomatoes. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Okay. Red what red happened? Why aren't you with that guy anymore? Um, we weren't compatible. And that's kind of what the dinner was like. Just kind of chatting and like saying like, "Hey, are we gonna try to figure this out? Are we gonna go separate ways?" Oh, how long were y'all with each other at that uh, up until that point? Um, we had already at some point kind of like given each other space, so we had been talking on and off for like dating on and off for like about six months, but we just weren't compatible. Just totally. Compatible. Uh, what what was the biggest deal breaker for you? Um, and I'm assuming you initiated the breakup. Uh, I think it's I don't I'd like to say it was mutual. It was Never one party is always mutual. like there's always one party yeah, that one pushes party. for it more. Um, I'd say the biggest deal breaker for me was maybe there was a lot of baggage that needed to be dealt with and on his end and um. So when you have you. a lot of baggage, communication needs to be like given. No, it's like I mean I don't like that. What didn't he communicate that um bothered you? Well, sometimes men need space, and instead of saying "Hey, I need space," he would kind of just like. Mm. not he, respond for a whole day and i'm like he was okay, with the next space, just give me a heads up and then uh, come back random and be like hey like everything's normal and i'm like I maybe he's working maybe, maybe he was like working, uh, busy and that's okay to say right that's okay to say hey i'm working i'll get back to you when i can was he a higher earner no <laughs> <laughs> if he made a lot of money she'd be quiet yeah yeah <laughs> she, okay. wouldn't, she wouldn't have cared if he didn't respond okay okay interesting all right fair enough uh but you initiated the breakup would it be fair to say uh sure yeah I mean, she made the money. <gasps> Did you make more than him? Yes. I think. Called it. To be fair, I have cut off relationships that the other person did make significantly more than me because we weren't compatible. So, although money is important, you can't say compatible. Is important. What, what? Okay, so generally speaking, if they made less money than you, you broke with them, and if they made more, but what made them not compatible? Yeah. Uh, different values, right? What so values? Like, um, so they want kids, you don't want kids? I like to say I'm traditional in some sense, not completely like identify as a traditional woman completely like to the definition, but I like to say I'm more a lean towards more traditional side. Um, so, you know, if I'm an, if if somebody's not initiating um, completely, then I, I kind of just give them space to be who they are and allow them to be that. But that's not for me. Right. So I, I like men who take initiative, who, um, who allow lead. me to be feminine. Right. Like I mm-hmm. I'm more comfortable in that space yeah. where I can be more feminine. Um and have somebody where like, you know, if you need your space, you're gonna say that. If I have some place where I need advice, I can ask for advice and just allow you to be who you are, not necessarily completely against the idea of gender roles. Okay, so you want them to do most of the pursuing? Yes, I enjoy that, yeah. 
<laughs> so then you then don't do shit. She got bored. Um, so I actually <laughs> don't have sex out of a relationship. So there's that. Oh, so that's why I didn't Oh, so <laughs> wait, hold on. You, you're you don't saying you've never me? hooked up outside of a relationship? Come on. I haven't. <laughs> it is what it is. Like. That's believable. I believe you, girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. We believe you too. So you're telling right. I don't. You know what? I don't. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Ooh, okay. And what about you? When's the last time you cooked for a guy? It's been a while. Yeah, I know. It's been a long time. <laughs> How long? Mark? I can't. Rem <laughs> I can't remember, but I do remember what I cooked. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can't remember oh, what was it that you cooked then? Um, curry chicken know, Mario, and you... white rice. <laughs> curry chicken and white rice. Fuck y'all niggas. You're done, no. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> you guys gotta grow up. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we got no, here. Okay. Um, it's an inside joke. It's an inside joke. Shades. Yeah. Uh, I want to be inside. <laughs> oh, you don't want to be inside.